Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. I come from a very famous small village in Bavaria. It's Pell. We only have 1,500 inhabitants, but it's very famous because the best soccer player on the German team, Thomas Müller, comes from our village. <laughs> Personally, uh, first I want to thank you that you invited us here, um, us children, to share our thoughts. It is not common, but we children think it should be, because for most adults, future seems to mean 20, 30, or 40 years. But we children b will be about 50 in 2050. And 2100 is probably still in our lifetime. Personally, my story is very short. As it was said in the introduction, I had to give a presentation about the climate crisis in my class um, in fourth grade three years ago. And I called this presentation the end of the polar bear. And I said, let's plant one million trees in each country of the world. But soon after the start, we found out that we don't have to save the polar bear. We can save the polar bear, but it's about saving our future. So a friend of mine made a sticker, save the human. But I'm not here to talk about myself, but I'm trying to share the feelings and thoughts from children from all over the world. I'm doing so because about two years ago, I was invited to a conference with 700 children from over 100 co countries, and I, uh, I gave a presentation there sharing my vision that we can work um, globally together in all countries of the world and working together as global citizens, and at the end I was voted to, um, in the junior board to represent the children in the UN junior board. Which children are probably more active as you think. About one year ago we made a consultation. Um, 16 locations were connected with children from nearly 100 countries. Um, and the two main points we ended up. This was a consultation. We weren't playing games on the computers. We were connected to children from all over the world. And if someone typed an, an idea, everybody could see it. And through this process, um, we ended up with two points. The first point is that the leaders, the heads of governments, have to talk less and act more, and the best thing what we children can do to do something for our future is planting trees. So in short, stop talking, start planting. <laughs> After the failure of Copenhagen, we children were shocked. We made conferences um, through Skype, and we decided that, um, to, that we can do another consultation how we would solve the crisis if we um, were the heads of states, heads of governments. And this time we ended up with three points. The first point is that until 2050, we have to go down to zero emissions. We have to bring all carbon into the museum. The second point is that until 2050, there's a limited amount of carbon dioxide that we can accept, uh, that we can emit left. And we have to accept that this is limited if we don't want to wreck our future. The scientists tell us this is about 600 billion tons. If we divide this amount throughout 40 years, we will end with 15 tons. And now we have to decide how we will divide those 15 billion tons per year throughout the world's population. We could do it like we have it today that um, Europe and the United States 
get 60% and the rest shares the 40. But for us children, there's only one answer, which is that everybody gets the same. So 15 billion tons divided by the world population, let's say 10 billion, we will probably soon um, get to 10 billion. We, th this is 1.5 tons per head per year. We children had long discussions. If we should follow the, um, the scientists um, or the climate skeptics. But the end, at the end we had one sim simple reason why we follow the scientists. If we follow the scientists and in 40 years we find out that they were wrong, we didn't do a mistake. But if we follow the skeptics and in 40 years we find out that they were wrong, it will be too late to, so to save our future. Our third point is tree planting. A gigantic tree planting action um, with 500 billion trees. If we plant this amount, um, they will take up as, um, 5 billion tons of carbon dioxide every year. Um, you remember, if the 600 billion tons divided by the 40 years is 50 billion. And now we have another 5 billion through the tree planting. And we can use these 5 billion tons that we can emit as a time joker. That we get more time to go down to zero, to go down to the 1.5. This sounds like a huge amount, but China shows us that it is possible. I was in a press conference about half a year ago with the first minister of China, and he said that China planted 2.7 billion trees in 2009. If they continue on that rate, I calculated, then they will have achieved 100 billion trees until 2050. So China alone has one-fifth, will plant one-fifth of all. Um, and the, we only have to uh, do this small amount. And the sec second um, example is 500 billion trees is only the amount of trees that we cut down the last 40 years and didn't reforest. And my friend came up with a third example. If everybody plants as many trees as he or she is old, uh, we can easily achieve the 500 billion. Now, um, we will send these three points, carbon to the museum, then um, climate justice, Everybody gets the same, and if someone wants more, he can buy the emission right from someone else, so he can pollute more, and we can, through this, bring poverty into the museum. And the third point, tree planting, we will send these three points to all the heads of um, governments tomorrow. Ch while I'm speaking here, the children um, in schools here in Berlin finishing the letters, and we will um, go from embassy to embassy tomorrow to 133 embassies and hand, uh, hand over those letters. If some, some of you want to find out more about Plant for the Planet, we will trade um, our book, Tree by Tree, um, which was written by the board of our foundation, of our, of our children's foundation. We will. Tr um, trade the book against your business card. We um, haven't published, we haven't printed the English yet, but you can get the German, and there are lots of pictures in it if you, uh, if you <laughs> can speak to. <laughs> and if you want to support us, you can support us in, in, um, by empowering other children um, 
to give presentations and to fight for the future. We, we organize academies and at these academies, we children educate other children to get active. Um, for example, Yugratna from India, in the bottom left, gave a presentation at the um, General Assembly of the United Nations right after Mr. Obama. That's Maiken um, on top from Botswana. And many children all, from all over the world are giving presentations. We had our first um, academies in China about a half a year ago. Uh, and it was in the press everywhere on the front pages. And we, will, we are already in 72 countries and we will be worldwide soon. So to come back to our, um, our campaign, Stop Talking, Start Planting, I need a volunteer. Why don't you come up? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Imagine a very prominent person that gives us lots of speeches like you is standing in front of a microphone and giving a speech, a camera zoomed onto his face. And then suddenly, a hand covers his mouth and he struggles to speak. The camera zooms out and there's a child standing beside him or her saying, stop talking, start planting. 